After exploring for a while, we emerged at nightfall to tell our people to follow us in. It was a difficult decision, but we feared leaving our poorly trained civilians between the pursuing scouts and the cliffs. The very thought of approaching the place where the Lady of Light and the Master of Darkness had been seen for the last time was good for morale. It was well that the ancient tale lit a flame in our hearts, for there was little other light to be had in those forsaken tunnels. Scenario 8 An Errand of Hope Royal Meeting As we went deeper and deeper, the contrived openings in the ceiling that had permitted us a scarce beam of sunlight diminished until they vanished entirely. By contrast, the subterranean water streams became more abundant, both in quantity and volume. Oh, the irony! In the caves we had all the water we had so sorely lacked in the desert, but we had to struggle to see our steps. Under the world's skies, we could see the moon tracing out its cycle by night. By day, the suns would announce the time. Here, we had no notion of how much time was passing as we travelled underground. It was as if time itself had been frozen and bound to the rocks. These caves are too dark for us to see, even with our torches, as if walking with the undead was not disquieting enough. Your archers are renowned for being as accurate and deadly at night as they are under the light of the suns, and yet you fear the dark depth beneath the surface? It is not the dark itself we fear, Lich, but rather the things that dwell in it. I wonder if we'll ever come across the people who built these structures. Our enemies roam these caves too in search of the two heroes. Whoever would be more apt for aiding us in our mission than the dwarves? Eh, if they had to abandon their posts, there is probably not much they can do for us. See, for all we know, they have either all been slaughtered or converted to the Chaos Empire in their ridiculous cult. Not that they would be of much help anyway. They would rather tend to their own matters than deal with outsiders, especially elves. Not too different from your people in that regard. It is true that historically they have refused to assist those who they deem of very little utility for their ends. But given the ongoing Chaos infestation, we may be able to take advantage of that. <laughs> Surely they would admit elves and undead into their domains, yes! Victory conditions, explore the caves and defeat any opposition you might find. Well, I guess the question is, how much opposition are we going to find? And we won't know until we look for it. But it doesn't look like this map is huge, and it's only a 34 turn map underground, which makes me suggest that I shouldn't over-recruit. All right, I'm going to start off by just exploring a little way with Sithinia, see if I can see anyone or anything. And there is a village that has been captured by someone, and I don't see any enemies up ahead. One more tile. Yeah, there we go. Okay, nothing too exciting is visible. And Linde, you move out. Malkeshar, you move out. Now, I don't think this is a boss fight scenario, so I don't think I need my units to be as tanky as they were in the previous fight. Um, but I'm gonna, so I'm gonna leave my spectres at home, I think. Um, but I am gonna have, I'm gonna have Rathaya the Druid. I'm gonna see if I can level level her up to a Sylph. Um, and I've got plenty of healing. I'm gonna have. the Death Baron, and then I'm going to have some level 1 units, I'm going to have a couple of ghosts, and a vampire bat I think, or maybe just one ghost and one vampire bat, and I'm going to have a dark adept as well. They can be pretty mean if they have leadership abilities. And then let's see what comes. Nothing, nothing comes. Alright. 
the bats should go and scout up here because it looks like there's going to be interesting stuff to find. Ooh, yes. Yeah, am I going to get attacked by bats through here? Probably am. So let's uh, stick you there. Oh no, it's just a boring, empty chasm of an area. You go down here, and that is an empty chasm too. Ah, we see our first enemies. And it looks like it is a troll. Good thing that we spotted it, because it's in a position to be able to wail on my shide. So, I can fix that by sticking Malkashar somewhere well defended, like into these mushrooms. Two trolls there, they can both attack him, that's fine. And in the background, Anlinde. This one, they can also sadly reach this house, or just about. Now if I'm going to be fighting trolls, I need to look at what trolls are resistant to. So trolls, arcane damage does a lot of damage to them. Um, they're resistant to blade and pierce, and they're even stevens on everything else. So the Dark Adept seems to have been a good choice, and I think Ghosts and Wraiths are also a good choice. I'm just going to put you here. So I will have another Ghost. I'll have another Dark Adept and another Ghost just in case one of them dies. Then I'll have a skeleton archer. I'm going to recall this wraith and maybe this experienced skeleton as well. And maybe I should, maybe I need some more high level elves. Or maybe I will need some more high level elves. It might not be a bad idea to try and get one of these rangers up and become a higher level. Or oh, this trapper. Trappers are very handy. Uh, but I don't have um, an elvish avenger, so we shall see. Alright, looks like I'm not too worried about income, which is good. Um, now, a trapper is going to be a lot more useful against undead than a ranger is. Rangers are pretty rubbish against undead because they've really only got slashing and pierce. So I'm gonna do the trapper. Quothad. Alright, and maybe I can leave it at that. I think I can probably take on all comers with this army. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Hopefully two, three more recruits wouldn't make a difference. Elves, undead, be gone, dark, treacherous ones, or we kill you. Oh man, they do so much damage against him, I forgot. Oh. It was a bit jammy to get that many hits, and um, with his... Uh, with his drain attack, he's uh, got it all back, almost. So, I think this squad can pretty much clean up. Maybe I can even get the Dark Adept to get the kill. The Dark Adept actually um, will get the kill if he hits twice. Don't even need to bring in the Death Baron, though I will anyway. Alright, that's a good start on your experienced career. You are intelligent, so you're going to level up like nobody's business if I don't let you get killed. Um, you've moved as far as you can, so you just plonk down here on this house. None of you are going to be any use apart from possibly you. Um, what's the best way of getting these kills? Or trying to... Um, Rathaya the Druid will get experience even if she, all she does is fight here. So I kind of feel like the optimum solution is to let Malkashar try and deal with this one on his own. And succeed.
succeed. Now you can come in here. Do some magical attack, and there you are, you're level 3 as well. Beautiful. Then... Over here we've got a troll shaman who... It looks like there's only two units who can get in here. Um, once I've killed this troll, I'll, I'll do, do some scouting, see if there's any more. Um, but for now, I think I'm just going to let Anne Linde deal some damage. Good, good. All right, bat. Come in and scout. See what you can see. All right. Doesn't look like there's anyone else here. Um, so, if it's just the two of you, then I can move Galas up onto this house. And this ghost can go... What I don't want is for the ghost to be attacked by the leader, because the leader does nasty mass damage um, against ghosts. So. Everyone else, just go, go, go as fast as you can. You're quick, you're not, so you get in front. Um, you, oh, Gallus is going to be healed anyway. So I think I can move you down to here. Can you see anything interesting? There is a pathway down there, and this bat can try and investigate it. As can this ghost, actually. Let's see. This could go nowhere. Probably goes nowhere, so I'm probably wasting my time. Alright, let's see what happens now. <coughs> oh, I didn't think you were that fast. <coughs> and there is another level 2. Unfortunately, it looks like Malkeshar can get in there and try and do the job. All right, there are more. There's another. There's an ant, a giant ant over there. All right, level two unit with sixty hit points. Bada bing, bada boom, out of the picture immediately. You maybe not don't explore just yet. Um, I want to see if you go back there, get that health back. You attack. <coughs> Can you get the kill? Not quite. I want you to go in and do at least one hit. Okay, so now you should be able to get it. Perfect. And you're up to 24 experience already. Alright, next question. How do we deal with the Troll Shaman? And I think the magic medicine here is Galas runs in and whacks him. Probably won't kill him in one go, but never mind. And Lindsay can come up behind and do some healing. Over here we've got a Shide who can come and heal. You advance, you advance, and you two also advance. You two are slow, so you will always bring up the rear. And then the bat, as usual, can scout and actually can get a good way forward. Oh wow, there are lots of ants over here. Okay, this is a an, an alien ant farm. And if I move further forward, the ants will come out and fight me, probably. So, should I do that? This bat is not hugely strong, but if it stands in the it can it can it can take it can take the damage from one ant. And you can only attack Malkeshar 
or gas, which is fine. Alright, that wasn't as much damage here as I was hoping it would be. Malkeshar, you have a sworn duty, which is to take out... Or to try to take out these trolls, and you can't do it, can you? You've not got the mojo. Um, so... And Lindsay, you try and finish the job. Very nice, very nice indeed. Alright, so now Galas can go around here. And this troll shaman is easy, easy fodder for someone. Hopefully, this death baron. Oh, it hurts a lot. If only trolls weren't so quick to assume ill intentions on our part. I understand that they are protecting their territory and would never be willing to negotiate with those who consort with the undead, but... I have to agree with the sentiment. These creatures have lived for longer than our own species, as though they were created to guard the very earth from intruders who may threaten the balance of nature. Slaying them feels utterly wrong in that sense. No uh, snarky remarks, Malkeshar? No, you don't seem to want to say anything about this. Well, that's fine. Now, time to get these ants out of the picture. The ants can do quite a lot of damage. Um, they can do seven damage with their fangs, so they should not be underestimated in any sense. And I think it might actually not be super wise to lure them all out at this point. I think what I'm going to do is slow this one. I mean, they're weak. They're weak for anything, but like I say, it's, it's the damage dealing potential that concerns me. You go back here, and hopefully the Wraith can get the kill. Who can use this bow? Well, I guess we'll find out. Anyone else need a little bit of healing? You need a tiny, tiny, tiny tad of healing. So I'll sit you there and you can just get the heal. No one's been down here. I was going to send a ghost. I forgot. Dang. All right, maybe next turn. Even though it'll probably just be a dead end. All right, back there. Now you check out his bow. An enchanted bow. I have read that ancient armies used to hire powerful warlocks to grant mundane weapons special powers such as poisoning, without need of preparing them beforehand, which is the main lack of those dumb orcish slayers. Well, this one seems to have such a power, judging by the fine inscription on it. I am not suited to use this weapon. Let someone else pick it up. I need an archer type unit for this, I think, and so I guess I'm going to recall one of my archers. Malkashar, as usual, you can be the battering ram. You've got decent defense in. Uh, in this hill, so it's extremely unlikely that you'll get instantly killed. I can't quite. I can. I can get a healer in there. That's good. You go and finish your healing. Okay. This. You can reach this house. That seems to be some sort of spell cast on these gates. 
We cannot even touch them. All right, gates that open later in the level. Gotcha. You come out. I'll recall. The intelligent and dexterous elvish ranger, Sithad. This, I think, probably is just going to loop round, isn't it? Well, I guess we'll find out. One of these ants doesn't want to come out to play. The other one does. Alright, another jot of experience from my Dark Adepts. Um, and you. Oh, that was weak. Okay. Can I get someone in, else in here to do some damage? You can. You can. You can slow it. Good. Oh no! No way! All right. This bat can do drain damage. Almost dead. Okay, now Death Baron, I hope, can finish the job. Yeah, there we go. Now, if anyone comes out of nowhere to attack my bat, it's dead, but that's fine, it's a bat. And you can explore this hole. Yes, it looks like it just loops around, that's fine. Alright, you grab that house. There are all these corpses everywhere, very ominous. Alright, you can get the bow. An enchanted bow. Uh, so on and so forth. Do you want this unit to pick up this item? Yes, I do. Alright, 11 times 3 poisonous bow. It's a pierce attack and it's got poison on it. So poison... I tend to think it's one of those abilities that the AI can use really well. Um, that for human players is not so useful because Usually, when you get in contact with an enemy, you're going to want to take it down straight away anyway. Um, but it is good against bosses, um, and it's good against people who regenerate because it stops them from doing so. So it does have its moments, and uh, I'm not too unhappy that someone's got it. The unit picks up the bow and immediately feels a chilling energy coming from it, flowing to their body. Albeit it looks like an ordinary bow, they take an ordinary arrow and shoot it at a snake wandering nearby, dealing great damage to it and apparently poisoning it too. We have never used poison on our weapons, or allowed its usage, but I guess this situation will require it. Alright everybody, let's move out. Let's go and find out what's over here. Again, Malkeshar take the lead. Um, now it looks like, is there a, some sort of artificial limit on visibility over here? Because that's what it feels like. Hmm. Hashtag suspicious. Alright, let's progress. I'm getting a ton of gold at the moment. This is very nice. Yeah, you guys are so slow underground. Good that I don't have that many elves, and the elves that I do have are mostly flippy, flappy flying units. Right, this just joins up. You can get that house. Oh no, you get it straight away, why not? I don't desperately need you to be out front. Still can't see much, and there are some defensive positions here. 
as an unoccupied keep. That makes me very suspicious. What about the bat? You can see further than anyone else can. You can't see anything interesting. That's that's what's that's what's funny. There is also a path down here. Unfortunately, the spectre is pretty slow on, over water. Better than nothing, though, and everyone else can follow behind. Okay. Still nothing happens. This is... this feels wrong. This feels eerie. Something creepy is about to happen. So you go up here into this mushroom cloud. What is that ahead? Bright gods! Look, over there, the heathens from the valley still live. These accursed humans brought a whole battalion into the caves. How bothersome. Elves? And with undead marching amongst their ranks? Tis a strange sight. We thought that your race was still an enemy of necromancy and their practitioners. Though ye helped our kin three centuries ago, would you help us now? Centuries? Well, sure. We have helped each other in times of need throughout history. Why would we not help you? Three centuries. Interesting. And then, Dave? Shh. Excellent! As you can see, there are these full men from the lands of chaos trying to take over our tunnels. They're everywhere! it would be a boon if you can help us repel them from here. Yes, our brethren have been eager to hear of the mighty desert heroes again. Rest assured, we shall do our best. What is going on? Elves from the desert? Anlinde, might they be... I believe that is a discussion for another time, when we have finished our new job here. Fair enough. All right, and now we have a more straightforward objective, which is kill everyone. All right, let's have a look around. Um, there are a few dwarves, um, not too many. There's two dwarvish leaders here. It looks like one of them's already dead, or at least something bad has happened over here. Um, can't see the green leader. But there is a green leader still because green has green has houses, green has villages. Over here we've got a Chaos Razor Man, who's a level three Chaos leader unit. Um, and as far as I can tell, that is the only leader that we can see around here. Um, now I've got to keep an eye on this hound because these hounds are an absolute pain in the backside, as we've seen before. They're berserk, which means that they will not stop melee attacking until you are dead or they are dead. But they're not fast enough to reach the main body of my troops. So I want to try and lure out this grunt. Ideally by someone who can go and stand in this mushroom patch. And I think um, I think Gallas is the is the man for the job. I am gonna have to use my gold to recruit some more troops. That's fine too. Um, when Gallas is done down here, he can uh, he can go and get on that. Malkeshar, you just hop into this fortress. Well, we got some healing support, so and Linda, you sit here, and everyone else can more or less just advance because you will all be pretty much out of range. No, 
Now you, you were going to go down here and see if you could find anything. It's a bit of a waste of a spectre. So maybe I shouldn't use you for that, especially since there's enemies around now. I'm going to use the bat for that. The bat also could go up here. I've got bats, I've got ghosts. I will get everything explored sooner rather than later. forward. Oh! The gate! The gate up here opens and now there are ants coming my way. Well that's interesting. Why are there ants coming my way? What sense does this make? And are they going to move? And is it worth sending troops to try and fight them? I think it probably is. So I'm going to send Raphael the Shider because if there's something up there, then clearly, oh, it must, it must mean something. It doesn't seem like it. Just seems like there's there's ants. It doesn't seem like anything worse. So you go and hop onto that house, and uh, if they both attack you, or if one of them attacks you, you get the kill. You'll be nearly at a level, and then you folks can all help out down here and like I say I actually do want to have, to have this spectre knocking around so that it can do damage against this grunt. Now if you look at demons resistances um, they are nasty but they do take more damage from arcane so getting slashed at by a wraith is a good way of um, you know that's that's that might be might end up badly for them and that's what I want. I'm all about annoying the demons. All right Oh, this is beautiful. You know what, that is, that is a level 2 Chaos unit getting owned by a level 1 Dwarvish unit. And down it goes. This is why Berserk is such a powerful ability. Doesn't look like any more Berserk troops are being recruited, which is a shame. But there are a few knocking around still. That's a lot of Zephyrs. Down goes the Berserker. And there's some damage for Gallus. And the Hound is coming in. Malkashar sadly can't reach the Hound to just give it a good zapping. Um, and Lunde can. And over here. There aren't too many units that can actually get in range. Um, there is this this Knight of Chaos, so that is something that I will have to bear in mind. But it might be that the Dwarves block or take out that guy first, and these are just... These are level 2 units who ultimately are not that much of a threat, I think. So what will you do if you... Yeah, it wants me to... it wants me to do that. I'm not going to do that, I'm instead going to use the Magical Storm attack. Alright, so it's not dead, but it's also not that far off. You come around here and... are you just gonna... no, it's... see, problem is... You found a spot where you've got yourself 30 flipping defense. The 70% defense, which is just insane, really. Malkeshar, um, you need to still serve the battering ram, so I'm going to plonk you on to this spot. Um, does that protect Anlinde? No, it doesn't, unfortunately. Um, and I will need somehow to protect her. Mm, it's occurring to me that this was uh, perhaps none of this was quite as smart as I thought it was. Oh well, you can do magical attack, so you just do that, Sathinia, and hope not to die. <laughs> Very unlucky. Um, if 
you come in and attack, you see none of you can. You're all virtually useless against this guy. It's so frustrating. This is just the the power of demons. I want to kill this hound, and I want to do so with a minimum of hassle. None of these units are good against arcane, so I, the, the the wraith should be safe to do this. <laughs> On relatively low health, though, I could plonk Galas down here, um, and that would protect both the Wraith and Anlinde. And I, I'm actually, yeah, I just need then to make sure that this demon isn't going to do anything drastically annoying, and it, I can't trap it in, unfortunately. You keep exploring. Oh, there's nothing down there. Oh, that's so frustrating. Okay, come back. Couple of ghosts. And these... These... Ants don't actually seem inclined to move. So I'm just going to go in and... Four of them? Uh, no, don't want to go on to a 50% when there's four of them there. Let's get some support. You can reach everyone because you're flipping fast. You're not going to do a ton of damage and I should be able to dispose of you relatively quickly. But still... I really would like... To just be able to take out this demon straight away and I think that is important because it's just so powerful. Well that was over the odds in terms of getting hits in so I'm pretty happy about that. And you're slightly more likely to get the kill so you go here. Fantastic, that's what I wanted. Um, now I do need to recruit more units. Um, that's going to get more and more urgent as I go on. Um, and it does now look, unfortunately, like Anlinde is going to take hits from this Knight of Chaos, which could deal 40 damage, and from this Marauder, who could deal 27 damage. So, if I'm maximally unlucky, she could die, but she is in terrain that gives her a decent defense. And you just advance. Alright. Let's take it from here. Who are you going to attack? You've really, you've really got the choice of um, anyone you want to attack. So let's see. Dwarves get to go first, though. Nice hammer sound. What about you? Whew, just survived. This Chaos Razor Man is advancing his troops forward. Seems to have spent all his money. I'm going to hope that these Zephyrs keep on heading towards the Dwarves, because I don't like fighting Demon Zephyrs. I also don't like fighting these dogs, but that's only a level 1 one. So, not too fussed by that. Alright, Galas, you get your way. You move your ass 
towards the recruiting station. Well, Kesha, you can get rid of this guy. Good, good. Down here there is a beautiful sarcophagus. I'm sure there's going to be some nice weapon of some kind if I go there. Now I want these ghosts and friends to come and fight. Against the against the ants. Alright, unlucky on the attack. See if I can get you with the whale. Yes I can. Good. Alright, two of them can come in and attack the ranger. If they are exceptionally lucky, they will kill him, but that's um the odds of that happening are 0.5 to the power 6, um, so yeah, something very low. I can hear Han Solo in my head and never tell me the odds. Alright, and the main force can move forwards. I've got this, um, again, you know, surprisingly underpowered blood imp unit. Um, and the rest of these troops are nowhere near being able to make contact with my forces. So here I can more or less do what I want, I think, with these guys. And what I want to do, namely, is get some damage with Anlinde. If I get really lucky... Okay, so he doesn't go down, that's fine. And it should be the case that this Death Baron can finish him off. Fantastic. Alright. Everyone else, you go up here because you can get some healing done. You go up here um, so you can heal Galas, and you two come out and get ready to fight on the front lines, as can you. Should I steal my should I steal my allies' gold? It always seems like a good idea. They won't be in the subsequent scenarios and I will. So I feel strongly about this. Um, I will, but not right now. I don't have units to spare. Apart from maybe you. I want to go up this way and see what there is. N nothing very interesting. Okay. Has everyone moved? Yep, looks like it. There's a little party up here who are dealing with ants. And... Yeah. These... Now these... Uh, these villages here are owned by a black player. I haven't encountered the black player yet. Is there going to be another chaos enemy in this map who's going to come and attack from behind? I guess we'll see. Don't have a whole lot of turns for this, so it would be nice if I just had to defeat this guy. Alright, in come the dwarves. Boom! I can't help him. Oh, well. Alright, and the invoker goes down. There are so many dwarves here that, honestly, this, this level doesn't feel like a particularly horrific for me. good, the purple troops are mostly heading towards the, the dwarves. Oh, ah, here we go. Oh, what is this luck? Oh, no way. Okay, um, well, that was, that was bad. It seems like there's trolls here, and it seems like the trolls are fighting more chaos troops. That's weird. Um, alright, well, 
I'm going to bail out the dwarves over here and then I'll push back against them. For now, um, you just shoot this ant. You're not, you're not, you haven't really figured out how to use this poison bow, have you? And you haven't figured out how to do shit. <laughs> so, um, are you going to move in and try and deal some damage? Yeah, why not? All right, this fight against the ants is going very poorly. <laughs> What happens if you go up here? Alright, we see demons, we see a longbowman who's badly injured. Yeah, it looks like the um, the orcs, the, the trolls up here. Unless the trolls are on the chaos team. Maybe they are. If they are, then then they're gonna, yeah, shit, they're gonna take out the rune master if they are. Alright, now I can't get in there with Malkishar, but what I can do is bait some of these troops away. Are you an enemy? Um, yeah, you are. Crud, we've got level 3 troll warriors on the enemy side. That's not good. And I really don't want this blue leader to be defeated. I don't lose if that happens, I don't think. No, I don't. But it, it, it doesn't reflect well on me as an ally <laughs> if that happens. And, you know, the blue leader is, is doing a good job of recruiting and of fighting these purple. So... It would be, it, it doesn't seem great if that happens. Alright, so what do I need to recruit? I'm fighting longbowmen, grunts, knights, troll warriors apparently. The full gamut of chaos units in essence. Now Malkashar can come up here and take out a Zephyr, and then I think, knowing how the AI behaves, they will push past him. Uh, and that. The question is whether I actually instead want to move Malkashar up here so that he can help defend against these black units who are coming in. Um, and they do, it looks like they've completely cleaned up the, uh, the orcs over here. Malkashar cannot get in, he can't actually get close. And if he gets hit by the, uh, by the hammer attack of this guy, it's going to be curtains. Still, if I'm going to fight back this army, I'm going to need Malkashar on the front lines. Now here, you can see these guys have done an interesting job because if they, they can actually, they're in range of, of most of my troops down in the south as well. First things first is to get rid of this dog, um, and I'm, I'm not worried about these guys, I'm worried about the Zephyrs. So if you move to there... Okay. Not terrified by attacking this dog with Death Baron. There we go, it's dead. Now these folks are going to be tempted now, unfortunately. This demon and all of these zephyrs, um, or at least these, the southernmost two, if the dwarves don't move in, which they will, um, it's going to be tempting for them to come and fireball my, my death baron. Um, which would be a very, very bad thing. Um, I'm going to take this extremely poor defensive position and attack this Knight of Chaos. Good job! Right, now, now it's how to deal with this attack on two fronts. Um, You take this house, that's fine. Green player is doing well. Green player's got troops up here. Um, they will, I guess, eventually reach the fight in like five turns time. Dwarves have got short stubby legs. And Malkashar. 
if you go up here, you're going to take a ton of damage. Am I okay with that? Am I okay with you potentially dying? No, not really, but... Ah, oh, this is so difficult. Um, okay. I don't, I'm not, I don't care so much about this blue leader that I'm going to actually expose Malkashar to almost certain death. Um, but if I put him on the house, he ought to be alright, because they can't all reach him. I do have quite fast movement. Now, what do I want to recruit here to fight these guys off? Um, I think a swarm of level 1 units is what's called for. Uh, and that's these are grunts, so they've got cold attacks. So what's really called for here is undead. Like, my favourite unit, the Skeleton Archer. All they need to do initially is defend. Now, they're, they're going to get hammered into the ground by this troll warrior, but hopefully Malkeshar can deal with him next round. I'm going to have some skeleton archers. I'm also going to have some ghosts. Um, I'm going to send one in for the fight at the back. Do I need anything else? Um, another archer, I think. Like I say, um, if everyone on this side of the map gets hammered, that is actually not the worst thing in the world. And one more thing... I'm going to have one more thing, I'm going to have a normal, maybe a skeleton rider, or no, just a normal skeleton. Good for taking out Chaos Longbowman. Alright, you're quite fast, you hop out here, you defend him. Um, I do not want any of you being hit. Well, I don't mind if you get. I don't. Actually, yeah, I don't, I don't mind if you get hit by the. Um, you can be my sacrificial dark adept. You go onto this spot where you have fifty percent defense, and then if you get attacked by people who have ranged attacks, you can give as good as you get. You, on the other hand, you're valuable. Um, so. I'll just move you up behind to get some healing, and I'll move you up behind there as well. So there's a little force heading in that direction. All right, dwarves, dwarves, do your oh no 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 no! Spectre is the the wraith is still in a in a bad tactical position. The wraith is also going to move down and join this force. I think I'm going to at least need all those units if I want to push against the razor man. my dwarven friend, you're doing all the right things, and oh yes! Thank you so much that you're going to get your units killed instead of mine. I'm not callous, you're callous. I'm Gallus, you're callous. You're thinking, oh, all of those dwarves, but those dwarves don't have to fight in the next campaign level. My troops too. the hoped for outcome. Oh, but there are so many troops over here! Oh no! Haha! <laughs> Take that! These ants are not only a threat to me, they are a threat to everyone who dwells below. 
this Zephyr is annoying. This Zephyr is um, is cramping my style. What defense do they have on water? Well, they've got they've got fifty percent on everything. Of course they have because they're just silly OP flying units. Um, okay, so I just want to get it trapped in a position. If it goes back, I want it to get trapped in a position where I can't do anything too useful. Um, I don't think there's actually any point. These ants are going to be more useful fighting off the enemy than they are fighting me. So I'm going to retreat over here, and these units can run back and join the main battle. You, know, you guys aren't even close to reaching. You're poisoned on a house. Um, so that all looks pretty good. Over here, the Zephyrs are wounded. This one will probably die to Dwarves next turn, but the Dwarves are gradually going to get cleaned up. First things first, need to get rid of this demon. And I think my best bet for doing so is just to zap him with Anne Linde's Ethereal Storm attack. Alright, that wasn't brilliant. Um, can you kill him? You could, but you are not guaranteed to, and you would take damage in return. I want to get someone else to try that. Um, so in that case, you step back one, you step back one, and yes, there we go. And now we've got a Dark Sorcerer over here. That's handy. Now, like I said, you're a sacrificial unit. I don't care about you. Uh, I'm going to have you possibly almost suicide on this Zephyr. That's what they call the worst possible outcome. No hits on 70% attack, and um, in return, take all of the hits. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, again, you, Skeleton Archer, are pretty sacrificial, so I want you to try and do some damage to this Chaos Invader who's almost at a level. Right, now you are extremely weakened, but you will probably die. Fine by me. You hop into that bush. You come round here. Now what I want you to do is to investigate what's going on down on this corner of the map, including this sarcophagus. You can't actually be reached by anyone. No good. Okay. So, I can't quite get in. You two can get in on that Chaos Longbowman. Gallas can get in there too, that's good. Um, do I want Gallas to recruit more troops? Yes, I do, because there are an absolute ton of enemies coming at me, and these guys are going to die. So Gallus is not going to run out and attack the crossbowmen, Gallus is going to stay here, and he's going to let his minions do the running out and attacking the crossbowmen. Longbowmen. And Kashar, um, rather than running out, which again actually would be my favourite option for you, I want you to go and I'd like you to go and kill that troll warrior. Um, I think what you're going to have to do instead is kill this guy. Okay, is everyone going to gang up on Malka Shah next turn? Because if you do that, I well, I will not be a happy bunny. But there is not a whole lot that can be done. I think there are more tempting targets than Malka Shah. If I plunk you here, now you are a skirmisher, so you could get past, but you'll still be in the river if 
you do that. And that's 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 legit as far as I'm concerned. This bat, I want you to advance. In reach of this one demoness. Blue's remaining troops. I think Blue is going down here. I don't think I'm going to be able to save Althurin from his inevitable fate. There's a lot of troops over here, and they can all get in on on these guys down here, on Anne Linde and the friends. Um, Am I worried? I don't want my... I really just don't want my Death Baron to die, that's all. So I'll stick the Death Baron in a position where it can only be hit by one unit. You're in a position where you've got... Uh, well... Just as long as the Dwarves do something smart. And they don't have that many options. Yeah, you just hop there. You rush forward. These skirmishers, man, these skirmishers. Like, I think these guys would not quite be OP if they weren't also skirmishers, as well as being flying, having immense defense, having immense, like, resistance on every terrain. Um, yeah. But what they can't do is skirmish enough. So, you come round here. And you come up so that you can join in the battle as well in this 60% defensive terrain. You can come, you can come down and attack me with your with your Zephyr. That's fine. I'll finish you off if you do that. All right. Now I can recruit. I mean, the skeleton archers will go down like. I was going to say go down like candy floss. Does candy floss go down? I don't know. Um. The skeleton archers are going to get trounced up here against these troops um, now that there are zephyrs, so it's probably worth diversifying. And because I've got lots of enemies with ranged attacks up against me, I'm going to get normal skeletons instead of archers. Maybe I'm going to recruit. I'm going to recall someone powerful because I feel like I need a bit of help with this fight. It's getting a bit. Uh, it's getting a bit intense. Maybe someone like this enchantress or the lich. Oh yes, yeah. No, definitely the lich. Eventually, I'm going to lose this lich in a really stupid way. I hope not in this fight, but it could be. Um, and when that happens, I'll be sad. But until then, well, such is the way of things, I guess. He's gonna, he's gonna run home and defend his his boss. That's, that's cool. I'm still hoping these dwarves are going to be a more tempting target than my troops. It seems like that one at least was. And that troop, you know, like I say, he was he was going down anyway. Sure, attack the ants. Do you have marksmen? Because how else did you get three hits on a 60% defense? Oh. <laughs> 
Man, these guys are just not stopping. Alright, so there's multiple battlefronts that I need to be wary of here. First of all, you guys are running away. And you're going to regroup around here. We've managed to draw these people out of position, so that's good. And then you guys can run up and help join this rather ropey looking fight to the north. I think I've got enough tanky units here that I can take this fight, but uh, we shall see. You can reach that sarcophagus, man. You're fast. But what I need to do is to mop up the units in the middle. And in order to do that... You run out and attack this guy with no effect whatsoever. You get this kill against the Chaos Invader. You please get the kill. You won't get leadership here. Um, that's fine. Or oh, maybe the bat. Maybe the bat would do it. Will you level up if you do this? Ha! <laughs> yeah, you will. It's not enough, though. Um, even even with leadership, it's not quite powerful enough to take this iron golem down. <laughs> not in one hit. Maybe with two. Um, but yeah, it's maybe worth a shot. A leveled up bat would be nice. Okay, no dice, but that's fine. You can't get out. You... I want to come down here. Kaboom! And you two. It's very tempting. So tempting. Is In what way is that a bad idea? I think these two remaining dwarves, if Anlinde runs over here and attacks the Zephyr, and if she can kill the Zephyr, the Razorman can't reach her, she's within range of the Razorman next turn, the dwarves hopefully will still be better targets and will be able to attack Zoe um, and Dalin, and yeah... Four hits. All right, got the kill, but took a ton of damage there. That is really unfortunate. Um, and I guess these dwarves, maybe they'll come in for the for this invader. Maybe this guy will, but uh, otherwise, I suspect. So should I now put my? I think I should now put my wraith in a position where rather than going and investigating that side passage right now, I should instead just block this Chaos Invader from attacking Anlande, or try to. Can he attack from the south? No, he can't. Good. <gasps> it's possible that he could get attacked by the Razorman the next turn if this Invader moves up or down, um, and if the if various things happen, I'm, I'm, there's lots of it and buts. <clears throat> okay, now it's time to try and take out this Chaos this Troll Warrior, and my best bet for doing so um, is actually these ghosts, because they do arcane, special arcane damage. So you come, and if you can do it, you can take out this Troll Rock Lobber. If you can't, you'll be stuck there, and I can block you with some weak units. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's so unfortunate. Okay, kill, kill, kill. 
Whew, I thought that wasn't even going to work for a moment there. Um, you come around and see if you can just take out this troll warrior. <sighs> Not quite. Okay, but maybe Blue can, and maybe Blue can survive. Now what I need to do now is push fast enough that I can get Blue's main units just completely... I can get Black's units to be really in trouble here. I think that's the, the, the end goal. I'm worried about this Magus, that's my main concern. And I don't want to put the, uh, the Lich in front of the Magus, because um, that would be crispy, crispy death for the Magus, for the Lich. Um, probably for the Magus as well, but, um, uh, you know. It's just a shame that's not a better defensive position. Alright, two hits. And then I've got two Chaos Choppy Boys. And you can try and attack this Magus. I think that's probably your smartest move. That was nice. Shame I can't kill him, but that was well above the odds, hitting with three attacks on 40%. <clears throat> Now, Galas, if you can stand here and take out this Zephyr, it's unlikely you would need to get 4 out of 5 hits on 50%, but it's possible. Huh. Miracles can happen. Alright, now you can go in and get an immediate level, and then probably get killed, but, you know... I'm not above losing a bone shooter. You also can't quite get into this fight in the way that I would like. Um, can, how far can you move? Alright, you can move quite a long way. So you go and block that. Because I do not want you attacking my Lich. And you move up as well. I'm going to put you over here to heal Malkashar. And I'll stick you right behind. You can even... Hopefully someone will just dash through and try and kill you. Because... Yeah, because I, cause like, I don't care about that. You guys actually can get further through. You can get to the to my shide, and that's a shame. But you're only level one, so I'm hopefully... I'm optimistic. Cautiously optimistic. Alright, dwarves, do your thing. Don't come out! Okay, Green's extremely slow troops are coming to the rescue. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, you don't get a level. Right, that was predictable. Alright. One good thing about this map is it's got the kind of fog that doesn't come back. So any area that I've explored, I can always see all units that are there. And maybe, actually, now that, um, you know, now that the, the main bulk of the battle has been, has been, well, no, let's not count my chickens before they hatch. Um, but maybe I actually want to defend down here. These, unfortunately, these units, there's a level three demon warrior there, and I don't think these three could hold on. So I'm going to move them out of the way. Alright, first things first. 
I'm going to try and deal with this mess up here. And hopefully, if I play this right, I can get Blue's leader out of danger. Because he seems to be uh, taking a few risks that uh, are not advisable in a position such as his. But first, but first, first let us try to take down this Razorman. Okay, first things first, the bat. Well, you can't. Hmm. Who is going to attack who in this situation? I want just as many people to be able to get in and attack this guy as possible. And I think the bat is just so weak that it's not. It's not a concern, so I will use the bat to try and take this one out. Although, no, that could be five damage. No, that's that's worth having. So, because you're slow, I'm going to use you. And if you miss, then this guy's going to level up. You didn't miss. Very nice. Okay, you... You step back one. You step back one. You come in. Give this guy a smack. <laughs> Fantastic. Right, that means that you... can come in and shoot, and you've got a very nice situation there because you've got leadership. And Linde, I want you to get in there with the slow. And if you can't pull this off, you're going to die, probably. Because that's eight times four. No, no, you won't die. Not immediately. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. And in fact, you could have got the slow as well. You do that. And then hopefully you can get the kill. Alright, no kill for you, but you, we do have an enemy on one health. And um, this is this is why you get bats. Um, and unfortunately this bat, even if it levels up now, might well just immediately die afterwards. But let's see. Alright, it's got 27 hit points, so it shouldn't die straight away. Um, oh, but my oh, <laughs> but my wraith is now in range of a unit who does ethereal arcane damage, so might be RIP for the wraith. Still, I mean, that was enough for me to take out a leader, so I'm willing to, to take that casualty if so. Okay, top side of the map. This is the only place I've got units left who are able to act. And I basically, as I said, I need to clear this up. It's a question of wiping out whatever forces are left up in this way. So first of all, the um, skeleton. Misses with all its attacks. <laughs> I love that death noise. Oh, I was one day away from retirement. Mm. Okay, now you stay back and attack this headhunter. <laughs> there are so, so many units here with skirmish. It's not an ability I enjoy fighting against. Okay, so um, now there is this demon grunt, um, and the question is whether I use Malkashar to take out the demon grunt or someone else. 
I think it is actually best if Malkashar takes out the, the Demon Grunt, um, and then Althurin, the Dwarven Rune Master, can do the rest. And by do the rest, I mean not die. The whole point of this, Althurin, was to save your life, and I hope that you're grateful. Oh, Keshar's very close to another level. More units incoming, and more <laughs> level one, level one headhunters. It's it's not a good look. just rush forward with Galas, but if I do that I'll be opening him up to an absolute world of pain. I think the best bet is to actually sacrifice this bone shooter, um, or at least I suspect the bone shooter will go down if I do this, but I don't mind at this point of the campaign losing a level 2 undead unit, I can easily make more. Fantastic, that was really the outcome I was looking for, so now gonna try and grab some of these unfortunately you can you can get in wherever you like um, but you can't do that if I move a ghost to this spot and you can't reach anyone so I will do that I'm gonna put this ghost I could put the ghost there and have it fight the rock lava but then it's just gonna die pointlessly um, and it probably still won't save the rune master so I will stick you here instead um, and I'll put you back here. And there's still note to self, a black house here. And this, at a point where one leader has gone down, and I might take some serious casualties next turn. The dwarf leader might die. Everything's up in the air. Everything is up in the balance. This is where we're going to take our break. So thank you very much for your attention and see you next time.